YouTube fans, I Clay kicks back again with a brand new video. And if you guys are new to the channel, strolling by, and have yet to subscribe, please make sure you smash that subscribe button. Hit that like button if you enjoy the content you are seeing. Enough talking. Let's get into the review. What's good, sneaker fans? I Clay kicks back again with a brand new video. And today we have a new addition to the sneaker collection. Now, this is a special one because this is the first physical release from Nike's virtual team or virtual marketplace, Dot Swoosh. And um, if you guys purchased one of those Air Force One boxes, whether it was new or old, and you opened it before they gave out exclusive access, you had the opportunity to purchase this shoe. Now, this shoe is a little bit disappointing. It's not the best looking Air Force One. It's very simple, but it is something special. It is the first one. So hopefully the next drops are a little bit more creative and look a little bit better with more creativity. But let's get into it. This is the Air Force One Low Tonnage. Colorway is Black Black Sail. And they kind of went with the off-white vibe. They said it was a special box. It's pretty basic. Something uh, that we're used to. You know, inside out Air Force One box. Tissue paper has the dot swoosh. Um, and that's pretty much it. They could have got a little bit more creative. People that actually got the shoe gifted to them actually got a uh, picture and a bag, I believe. So... It would have been cool if those accessories would have came with people that actually had exclusive access. Um, this shoe is only available via Sneakers app. And it's a good looking shoe. But I expected more for it being a virtual shoe to be a little bit more eye popping. Um, but hopefully we'll get more opportunities to buy more physical shoes in the virtual world. I bought four Air Force One boxes. I got decent uh, virtual Air Forces, nothing too crazy, but uh, hopefully they continue this and uh, have a couple more drops. Now that we know that, well, we already figured out that Nike will go the physical route after you buy virtual uh, products from them. So now we'll see if more people join and it might be a little bit more competitive going forward, but pretty decent black and white um, Air Force One right here. On the side panel, you do have the embroidered work with the dot swoosh kind of logo. This is not a JPEG right there. You got this nice black tumbled leather. You got your nice white leather, the forefront. You do have the dot swoosh right here embroidered in that blue. You got your nice little metal dubre right there in silver. You see that nice little dot swoosh. Comes with black laces, but if you don't like that, you got these nice bright blue laces right here swap it out i think it looks good makes everything pop out the little embroidered work on the shoe medial side is the same as the lateral this is something i did not like super blue icy outsole right here these things will definitely yellow especially after the first wear so maybe put uh, some protectors on the outsoles but Overall, it's a good looking shoe. Um, the colorway they went with and the way they put the colors, this kind of looks like a PlayStation Air Force One. That's what it reminded me of. You got the Nike Air embroidered in that blue on the back as well. You got basic black lace tips. It would have been cool if they would have put metal lace tips or a design on there as well. On the back of the tag, right here, you can see that dot swoosh. You see that JPEG graphic right there, so that's pretty cool. And the insole, it is that blue with the dot swoosh logo again. Let's check out the other one. So it's a nice premium Air Force One, and retail wasn't that bad. I think retail was $120. And with tax, probably came out to like 135 or something like that. Got the same insole as the other one. On the tag, you got dot swoosh right there. Air Force One. Got that nice black tumbled leather. So, pretty dope. And um, I know a lot of people a little 
upset because they didn't get the virtual boxes. But whenever Nike does something like this, you had to know that a physical product was on the way. This was something they've been pushing for years and they finally got it going. And we already knew we were getting physical products. So on the next drop, if they drop uh, you know, virtual boxes again, maybe they do a different sneaker or maybe they continue with the Air Force One, make sure at least cop one. And it says all you had to do for this one was open one of your boxes and uh, it will give you exclusive access. And these were pretty easy to get for me. I didn't have no issues on the uh, purchase screen. It was very easy. And then around three or four o'clock, I believe I got a notification saying, make sure to purchase your Dot Swoosh Air Force One, which let me know that they did not sell out. So a lot of people did not purchase this shoe or a lot of people just didn't care for it. It's not, again, the best looking Air Force One. It is cool. It is part of Nike history now. Um, but the economy is bad. The market is bad. And, you know, a lot of resellers weren't going after this shoe. And the people that actually want it were very slim. Um, but nevertheless, I had to get this. It was clean. I expected more. But it's a pretty good piece uh, for the sneaker collection. So without further ado, let's check these bad boys on feet. And let me know down in the comment section, were you able to secure your pair? Did you get those virtual Air Force One boxes? And now that you know that Nike's dropping physical products, will you buy the virtual boxes in the near future? Let me know in the comment section. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace!